Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sirisha Singh. I am a consultant dermatologist and cosmetic dermatologist. Uh, today we are going to talk about a specific type of hair loss which is very specific uh, to men uh, which is also commonly known as androgenetic alopecia or uh, genetic pattern of hair loss in men. Uh, all of us do see men all the time with hair loss and uh, as you would have noticed as well in this form of hair loss what tends to happen is the men have some recession of hairline in the temple area on both sides of their scalp. Uh, this is followed by a thinning of hair in the moon area of the scalp which is right behind the head in the crown area. And what happens over a period of time which could be several years, it could also be decades in some men, is these areas of hair thinning and hair loss join together to form a U-shaped area of complete hair loss on the top of the scalp. The hair which is behind the scalp on the back at the bottom and the hair which is below the ears usually is retained for a long time because hairs in this area are not sensitive to the effects of internal hormones in men. Um, in terms of treating this form of hair loss, it is very very difficult. Uh, almost all men have a, have a genetic clock built into them which determines the rate at which this hair falls off. And what we can do with interventions and what we can do with medications is we can slow down the rate of hair fall. We can even give some amount of improvement for the hair fall. But since this is genetically built into the individual, the individual needs to be consistent with the treatments and needs to take the treatments for a really, really long time and maybe for the rest of their lives to see continued benefits. If one gives up and stops treatments at certain point in life, then the effect reverses and the hair fall begins again. Uh, so the treatments for men uh, with this form of hair fall is almost all men are put in a put on a supplement which has a high amount of biotin, zinc, selenium, and other minor nutrients which are important for growth and nutrition of the hair. Uh, this helps in uh, providing adequate nutrition for the growing hair, and if there is deficiency of uh, one or more minor nutrient, then this will be rectified by the supplementation. Uh, the men can be put on uh, minoxidil use which is a lotion or a foam or a gel which is applied on the scalp skin. What the minoxidil does is it increases the amount of blood supply which comes through to the scalp and more blood means more nutrition to the hair and therefore the hair grows in size and in numbers. Uh, the third medication that uh, almost all men would uh, be considered about is uh, something called finasteride. Now if you look through the net there are many scare stories about finasteride. But in men with uh, main pattern hair loss, a slow dose of finasteride, 1 mg of finasteride, it helps to reduce the effect of the hormone on the scalp hair and it helps to slow down the hair fall. One tablet needs to be taken on a daily basis and what usually happens is that in about 3 weeks one notices that the amount of hair fall is slowed down and it takes about 6, 7 or 8 weeks to see new hair but there is usually some amount of new hair growing on the scalp skin as well. Uh, the tablet is quite safe and in about 95-97% to 97 of the people there are absolutely no side effects and the general advice is you start the finasteride tablets and you continue it for the rest of your life. Uh, following this, uh, depending upon the degree of hair loss that you have and the degree of psychological distress that the hair fall causes you, you could be considered for one or more physical therapies. The physical therapies can be broadly divided into three groups. Uh, it could be microneedling. It could be microneedling with infusion of some active ingredients into the scalp skin or it could be PRP or vampire treatment. In microneedling what happens is uh, the scalp skin is uh, numbed by applying a numbing gel for about 45 minutes and then a roller blade like contraption is run on the scalp skin. What this does is it irritates the hair follicle and stimulates the stem cells which are, are seated low down within the hair follicle to grow up, multiply, come out onto the surface of the scalp skin and sprout new hair follicles. In microneedling infusion, along with the microneedling, certain active ingredients which are growth factors, they are peptides, are infused into the scalp skin through the channels created through the process of microneedling. In PRP or vampire treatment, uh, the doctor withdraws some of your blood. This blood is then processed to give uh, certain growth factors and uh, active platelets. These growth factors and active platelets are then injected back into your scalp skin and they stimulate new hair follicles to sprout. 
Uh, all these treatments are very effective in the early stages of hair loss when there is thinning of the hair and there is some loss of the hair. But if you are in an advanced stage of hair loss and you have a significant uh, degree of hair loss, then they may be pretty ineffective. And if you are about 40 years of age or more than that and you have a significant degree of hair loss, then you could be an ideal candidate for hair transplantation in which case you need to consult a plastic surgeon. If you have any queries about any of the above or wish to get any further details, feel free to contact me. My contact details are given in the description box below. Thank you.